All right, so in this one, we're going to talk about uh, commands. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So first thing we need, import <laughs> all as alt from alt server. Uh, so this is obviously on the server side. We have this set up so that we're loading this folder called some command. Um, and it's going to go ahead and load this file. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to import a chat controller. And we want the system one. So make sure you import the right one. <clears throat> Sorry. Then we're going to do add command, and we have like a a name, a description, permissions that come along with it, and a callback. Uh, so let's just say, I don't know, uh, let's just call this sum, description, we'll do, do splash sum, uh, permissions, we're going to import permissions, so do all capitals like this, and you're looking for the shared flags, permission flags here. And then we're going to throw a... Uh, a period down there and we're going to make it restricted to uh, basically we make it restricted to nobody moderator admin um, whatever like you can make it uh, multiple permissions if you want so if you want this to be a command that's both admin and moderator uh, you do it like this uh, but anyway we're just gonna make this a simple admin command I'm already admin to begin with um, and then we have a callback function now the callback function uh, like always you can either write it uh, as a fat arrow function like this, or you could just make it call the function itself. Um, so we'll do uh, handle sum, and then we're gonna do player colon alt dot player. You will always have player as the first argument from a command. Always, always, always. That's just how it always is. Uh, <clears throat> so now what we can do is when we type a command, uh, let's just make it send a notification to the player. So we'll do player funks, emit, notification, task player, I'm going to say hello from just like that. Very, very simple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and restart our server here. So let's just do it like this. And we will test this command to make sure that it works uh, in game. And then uh, that'll be the basis uh, for commands. Uh, and then we can start adding in things like arguments. So let's go ahead and reconnect. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so I can do T slash S-O-M-E. There's our command down there. You can see it uh, kind of at the bottom there. When I do that, we get a notification that says hello from the command. So what can we do with commands? Like what are some other really cool things that we could uh, potentially do with a command? So maybe what I want to do is I want to teleport to some location when I uh, run a command or something. I'm gonna go into no clip here, and let's say that I want to be on top of this building, right? So I'm gonna hit F1, grab this position up here, and I want to teleport there when I run the command. So I'm gonna do player, uh, actually we're gonna do player, funks, safe, and then we're gonna do set position. So this will like safely set the position for the player. We're gonna pass the player, and we're gonna put our position here, and we're just gonna do POSX, POSY, POS.Z, just like that. Uh, and then we can do teleported to location. And let's go ahead and make this yellow. Cool. So now when I type slash sum, it's going to teleport me on top of the building. So if I reconnect, select, we're going to no clip away from here so I can show you that this is working the way it should. So we were on that building over there. So slash sun, and we were teleported. Teleported to location. Perfect. All right, so let's talk about arguments. Let's say I want to teleport to a different position on the map. Uh, every argument that you pass in is going to be a string, okay? So x, y, and z. But we also want to check some things. We want to check uh, player, um, player valid. We want to check X, we want to check Y, and we want to check Z. So what's happening here with all of these checks is that um, it's checking if the player is actually a valid player. It's checking if the entity is still valid, they didn't log out. It's checking if X has a value, Y has a value, and it's checking if Z has a value. Okay. So if any of this uh, is wrong, we want it to return. Um, if we want to be a little more informative, what we can do is we can separate X, Y, and Z here. And we can add them here and we'll do our checks like that and then we can say um, player or player funks 
commit message uh, and we can say x, y, or z is not defined for teleport. Okay, so there's uh, that checking there. So now what we want to do is we want to take the values from x, y, and z and put them into this um, position object. Now the thing with strings is that we need to convert them. Um, everything that we get from the uh, text input, you know, always going to be a string. So let's go ahead and parse them as floats, just in case we need to be super accurate. Parse floats and parse floats. Perfect. All right. So now we can uh, teleport to whatever position is specified um, when I add those additional um, parameters there. But in our description, let's go ahead and add this. There we go. So now when we type slash sum, it will see this as our description. And, you know, sum doesn't mean anything. It's just whatever. You know, it's just something to type. So let's reconnect. And let's say that I want to teleport to, uh, I don't know, 25, 25, 100. And I teleported. Perfect. So now that we know how to uh, handle uh, arguments for commands, I mean, now we can do plenty of other things as well. Like, um, for instance, maybe I want to make a vehicle spawner. So I could do like um, vehicle model. And then I get, it's going to be a string. And then I can go ahead and do a check for that down here. Uh, model is not defined. Not defined. Um, <clears throat> the only difference here, which I think is really, really important to understand, is that unlike normal LV, uh, where you just spawn the vehicle and it just kind of works out of the box, we actually have vehicle functions that you need to work through to spawn vehicles so that they work with the characters uh, that they're involved with. Um, so in that regard, what we need is vehicle funks. Now, vehicle funks is a server extension. It has a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, different, like you can like add a vehicle to a player, you can despawn vehicles. Um, there's all sorts of checks and things like that. Uh, what we want to do is do a temporary vehicle. And we're going to pass the player, and we're going to pass the model name, and then we're going to uh, determine the position where we want to spawn this vehicle. So normally we could just do this, and then along spawn on top of the player. But we have utility functions in Athena, so that means that we can do things like, um, what is it, get forward vector, and we have a server-side version of this, so we could just do player.rotation, and that's going to spawn a vehicle um, pretty much wherever the, uh, or that's going to get like the, the, um, the, like the rotation vector of where the player is facing. So if I do, um, let's do forward uh, vector, and let's do new position. So we can do X, which is going to be, so we're going to do POS X, oops, sorry, player.POS X plus forward vector dot X times the distance. Okay, so how far away do we want it to spawn based on the direction that the player is facing? So let's say four. All right, we're going to copy this, put it down the line, and we're going to select these and make them the right values. And the only thing here, uh, the Z, I'm just going to make it the player's current position. And that's going to be the new position where we're going to spawn it. So we could just do new position. I'm not worried about rotation, so I'm just going to do X0, Y0, and Z0. There we go. We've created a vehicle spawner. So now what I can do is I can go in game. Um, I can type in slash sum and then some model name for a vehicle. And it's going to spawn me a vehicle directly in front of me, which is perfect. It's exactly what we need for some kind of fancy command we want to write. Uh, so let's go select. So we do sum. And let's do uh, cyclone. And I don't know where the hell it went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Maybe I did the math wrong. I'm not sure. Anyway, either way, this is how you do commands. Very basic. Um, oh, that's why. Because this was uh, supposed to be Z and not X. 
Um, so anyway, that's how you do commands. Um, with arguments, uh, there's so many different ways you can handle it. Uh, highly recommend you check them out. Check out some of the other commands that are in the uh, the framework as well. I mean, there's tons of them. Like, look at all these files. There's so many examples. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and stop there for the commands.